In this brief asterisk overview chapter, we'll make sure you are familiar with digium, asterisk, and some of the non-technical foundational information related to each. In this module, entitled What is Asterisk, we'll describe and define asterisk. This will enable us to work through the rest of the course from a shared understanding of asterisk's high-level capabilities and basic features. In the next module, we'll introduce Digium, the asterisk company. The remaining modules in this chapter will cover asterisk's versioning model and several common asterisk use cases. In the next chapter, we'll dive into some of the more technical content. But first, it's important that you have an understanding of some basic asterisk concepts. This will create a framework that will allow you to more easily understand the technical content. Perhaps the simplest yet most exact single sentence description of asterisk is that it is an open source telephony platform. It's open source, which means that the individual lines of code that define the program are freely available to anyone who wants them. This means that developers from all over the world can and do continually make improvements to the software. In fact, Digium credits over a thousand individuals as contributors to the main asterisk code base. Because anyone can make modifications to the program, new features can be added more rapidly than in comparable proprietary telephony platforms. Asterisk has a very low barrier to entry, so almost anyone can start using it right away. This means that there are thousands of people testing and reporting issues with Asterisk. There's a very large user base to help identify and correct problems. Asterisk deals with telephony. It's capable of interfacing with almost all popular traditional telephone technologies and systems, as well as more modern technologies. Using Digium interface cards, Asterisk can communicate directly with analog phones and the public telephone network. It can also connect to all common VoIP or voice over IP phones and systems. A software add-on called Skype for Asterisk makes it possible to bridge an Asterisk system to the millions of users on the Skype network. We describe Asterisk as a platform because it's not confined to a single type of use. At its root, Asterisk switches telephone calls and can be used in any environment where that basic service is needed. We've seen Asterisk used as a debugging or testing tool, as a way to add voice capability to an existing application, and as a stable base on which new voice applications are built. Most of these use phone calls in one way or another, but sometimes in non-obvious ways. Asterisk is perhaps most commonly used as a full-featured PBX, but it enjoys broad usability in a wide range of other telephony applications. We'll look at a few specific use cases in an upcoming module. We just described Asterisk as an open-source telephony platform and looked at each of those terms in some detail. Now we'd like to take a closer look at Asterisk and some additional defining characteristics. Asterisk is featureful. All of the features you'd expect from a world-class telephone system are supported. Caller ID, call recording, conference calling, and voicemail are just a few of the dozens of standard calling features Asterisk natively supports. Asterisk is compatible. It supports dozens of standards-based technologies for call control, media transcoding, and other telephony services. There's a good chance that the communications technology that you want to use with Asterisk is already possible today. Asterisk is scalable. It has been used in applications ranging from an embedded device such as a home router, all the way up to enterprise class installations where dozens of interconnected Asterisk systems process thousands of concurrent calls. In 2010, Digium announced the Asterisk Scalable Communications Framework, which is a companion program that will make it even easier for Asterisk to excel in high performance settings. Links to the press release and the project page are included in the Attachments tab. The Attachments tab is visible above the slide listings on the left-hand side of this window, next to the Contents tab. We'll use it throughout the course to share relevant files and links. Perhaps most importantly, Asterisk is free. Almost every feature Asterisk supports is not only natively supported, but is configurable at no cost. Adding voicemail capability or conferencing to your system isn't something you have to go and buy. It's simply something you configure. Asterisk includes support for a few third-party technologies that do require a paid license to use, but Asterisk itself, with all of its native features, is free of charge. Finally, Asterisk is supportable. Though there's a learning curve when first getting started, you're doing the right thing by going through this training. We expect you'll find that Asterisk has many details that must be learned before you can do much with it, but eventually its behavior and configuration will almost become intuitive. If you find that you enjoy this course and seek a deeper level of asterisk knowledge, 
we encourage you to attend one of our more in-depth instructor-led classes to learn even more. Digium is also available to help you support your Asterisk system. We offer several levels of Asterisk support subscriptions based on the number of systems you need covered and what kind of support you want. Details about each of these offerings are available in the Attachments tab. In the last slide, we described what Asterisk is. It's also helpful to focus for a moment on what Asterisk is not. Though Asterisk enjoys widespread popularity as a featureful PBX, it's not a turnkey solution that is pre-configured out of the box. As delivered by Digium, Asterisk has immense flexibility, including literally thousands of individual configurable options that can be set by the system administrator. In addition, the Asterisk dial plan, where call routing is handled, is infinitely customizable. So some amount of knowledge is necessary to be able to express to Asterisk how you'd like it to behave. But that doesn't mean that turnkey solutions based on Asterisk don't exist. If you're interested in an Asterisk-based PBX that significantly reduces the complexity of configuring the features needed in a business phone system, consider Digium's award-winning SwitchVox PBX. SwitchVox optimizes Asterisk setup by pre-configuring hundreds of options that make it easy to provision a phone system. It also reduces complexity by eliminating the need to directly configure Asterisk. When using SwitchVox, all configuration options are made through the SwitchVox web interface, which is much more intuitive than the raw Asterisk configuration. Of course, using SwitchVox or any turnkey Asterisk solution trades some of Asterisk's innate flexibility for ease of use. SwitchVox shines in PBX and similar environments, but it's not a perfect fit for all telephony applications. To learn more about SwitchVox, you can click on the Attachments tab and follow a link to the Digium website. In this module, we've given you a brief overview of Asterisk. Of course, this entire course is about Asterisk, so we'll be giving much more information about it as you proceed onward. At the most basic level, it's important to understand that Asterisk is an open source telephony platform, that it is featureful, compatible, scalable, supportable, and free. Asterisk is not a turnkey solution, but it can be used to develop such solutions. Digium's SwitchVox PBX is one such turnkey product based on Asterisk. In the next module, we'll spend just a few minutes introducing Digium, the sponsor and primary maintainer of Asterisk.